Romans 15, Paul shares an insightful dynamic about his service to the Lord. He was a dreamer and a planner. Listen to what he says. But now I have finished my work in these regions and after these long years of waiting, I'm eager to visit you. I'm planning to go to Spain and when I do, I'll stop off in Rome and after I've enjoyed your fellowship for a little while, you can provide for my journey. See, Paul shares his plans, passions, dreams about meeting the believers in Rome and then going to Spain. Now honestly, we don't know if Paul ever made it to Spain, but it would seem that he didn't. But Paul wasn't afraid to dream big and to make plans to go for it when it came to living for the Lord. See, Paul didn't have a crystal ball. He, he knew God's heart for people, he knew the word, he listened to the leadership in his life, and then he got to work in serving the Lord. But he set goals, he dreamed, he made plans. Let me ask you a question. Do you intentionally set time in your life to dream? set goals, maybe even draft a potential plan for what serving the Lord could look like in your life. You know, a mentor of mine once said, when you stop dreaming, you start dying. And I would say to you, under the authority of God's word in your life and in concert with the spiritual leadership in your life, life's too short to eke your way through life. Dream a little about what God can do. But it's not about pie in the sky dreaming. See, a goal without a plan is a dream, and a dream without a plan is only a wish. See, a plan is a great tool, but a terrible master. But it's okay to plan. God's big enough to adjust your plans and direct your dreams. But you know what? He can't steer a parked car. So in Jesus' name, dream a little about how you can serve the Lord today.